By now, you're probably familiar with the story of the new Black Panther Party engaging in voter intimidation tactics outside of a Philly polling station back in 2008. Well, what if we were to tell you that this was not an isolated incident and that the 2008 primary race between Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton was rife with stories of voter intimidation and voting violations perpetrated by the Obama campaign? Those are the explosive charges in a new documentary called We Will Not Be Silenced 2008. Gigi Gaston is a filmmaker and director of that documentary, and she joins us from Los Angeles. Good morning, Gigi. Good morning. All right, so before we get to all of the evidence that you've compiled in this documentary, let's just tell the viewers who you are. You're a lifelong Democrat. You're a documentary filmmaker, a writer from a dyed-in-the-wool family of Democrats. Your grandfather, in fact, was a Democratic governor of Massachusetts. So you never expected to be directing a documentary alleging basically that Barack Obama's campaign um, broke the rules, violated the rules, and engaged in uh, rampant um, voter intimidation tactics as well as other things. So tell us, why did you start investigating this? Well, I got a phone call, and first of all, Allison, you're absolutely right. I had no idea I would ever be going down to Texas to investigate anything about voter fraud. I never believed our party would do that, my party would do that, and I got a phone call telling me to go down there, you know, offering it to me. I went down, and what I found was ten times worse than what anyone had ever told me on the phone. And I, I actually went down there to prove everyone wrong. Mm. All right, so let's show some of the violations that you uncovered. The very first clip that we'll show, this is from a woman, Dr. Linda Hayes, who volunteered for the uh, Hillary camp and at the election. She says that she investigated hundreds of claims of fraud in precincts in South Houston. So let's listen to what she says. Hillary obtained 51% of the votes in Texas. The popular vote, Obama, only obtained 47.4%. So as a scientist and as a mathematician, I was curious as the results came in from the precincts and the precinct caucuses did not reflect those numbers so I could see something was wrong. We laboriously went through each of the sign-in sheets to see if they were properly filled out. And many, many, many Obama people either came to the wrong precinct, they did not sign in properly, they did not show ID. Gigi, was the DNC alerted to those problems? The DNC was alerted. Everyone was alerted, but nobody wanted to look at it. They, they, it's, this is exactly what's going on today, and we have to do something about it. I mean, I made this film, Allison, in 2008, and look what's happening today. It's our, it's our right as Americans to be able to vote, and everybody was alerted. We went to press, we went to Fox, we went to CNN. Nobody wanted to hear the story, and I'm really appreciative that you do today. Let's take a look at another clip from your documentary, and this is very similar to what we've been seeing lately here on Fox, and that is the Black Panther episode where there was voter intimidation at the polls. Now, the one that you've captured here involves black men keeping little old ladies, some of whom black themselves, away from voting for Hillary uh, again in 2008. Let's take a look. Got out of the car. And there was this lady, probably about 80 years old, who was sort of walking slowly up the street. And as she was approaching, approaching the entranceway to go into the building, uh, one of the young men called to her, said to her, if you're not voting for Obama, go home, because you're not voting here today. And Gigi, this one struck you because of who this woman, Helen, who's speaking, is. I mean, this is a civil rights activist, you guys. This woman has been locked out and kept out of restaurants. She knows what this is about. And for her, if you go on to see the documentary, you'll see that many, many more African Americans just stopped, turned, and walked away. It breaks your heart. Yet another episode was where anyone who was wearing a Hillary campaign button was allegedly told that they could not vote at the polling place that day. Let's listen to a volunteer. I went standing behind the two elderly women that we brought to the caucus location and they mysteriously could not find their names in the book. The two Obama supporters, when they saw that um, these two women had Hillary stickers on them, not just all those Obama ones because I had given them Hillary stuff, they mysteriously couldn't find their names in the book. And so they weren't going to let them caucus. They said, oh, you must be in some other uh, caucus. And I just said, look, lady, I'm from Chicago. I came all the way out here. 
I know tricks like this. I noticed that was not happening for any of the Obama people or people that just had those Obama stickers. They were just getting waved mm -hmm. right through. Gigi, we're almost out of time, but I know that the Clinton campaign at that time tried to get the press's attention, tried to get the DNC's attention, and they couldn't. You're absolutely right, and nobody wants to deal with this. And the fact is, is that we absolutely have to deal with this. I don't care what color you are. I don't care how old you are. We have got to be allowed to have our voting privilege in America. And every time we don't, think of it this way. We're all architects of our destiny, right? If the Democratic Party, which is my party, is an architect of its destiny, what kind of building is it building hmm. right now? We've got to address these, these issues. Well, thanks so it much. It happened for, all the time. We really appreciate you, you coming on and showing us clips from your documentary. Again, it's called We Will Not Be Silenced 2008. You can find a link to it on our website at foxandfriends.com. Amazing allegations there. Well, the final test.